Hi everyone, we're going to check out how we can push the boundaries of Salesforce Greenflows. As we know that Salesforce Greenflow gives us a great way of creating quick actions and creating quick automation with screen, uh, allowing user to enter inputs in the screen. But sometimes its capabilities are limited and that's what makes us move to LWC or Aura to build customization for business needs. Uh, today we'll check out how we can add overwrite uh, styles uh, to the screen flows. As we know, uh, at the end, screen flow is also behind the scenes HTML and CSS, so it gives us a flexibility to overwrite the styles. So we'll check out a solution, uh, an example of how we can override. So this is an example. This is a screen flow that is being rendered. Um, we have done a few other customization and overwritten the styles for it. As you can see, there's a background image added to it, a background uh, footer added to it uh, with gray, gray color, and the labels are of different colors. Uh, here we can we have also bold the label and the text area is bold plus the plus the color of this is different so it gives us a uh, unlimited amount of uh, flexibility and what all we can do just based on the creativity and business needs that we want to solve so this is the flow that is being used uh, in the front end uh, so all we have to do is just add this particular component to overwrite the style and uh, this particular component takes a text template variable to enter this overwritten css that we want to enter also we have to select a particular template variable here i'll just show you the template variable that i've created to overwrite the style so this is the template variable and as you can see i've added my css that i'm overriding so this is the CSS that allows me to add the background image to it. So it's adding it on UI model. So the model that is pop that pops up when we click on the uh, quick action. So it's adding the background image to it. So this is the link to the image that is being rendered and the background if background should be repeated and uh, background position and background size. So we need to make sure that we add important uh, next to the one that we want to overwrite. Uh, this is the part of adding uh, or overriding the header uh, for navigation bar where we see the gray uh, navigation bar at the bottom. And uh, this is for the part that the text area was green, green color with uh, with it being bold and for where I have added the font weight. So this is the part where we are showing the stage as that particular field we are setting that which field should be shown of what color so here i'm selecting a particular field from that particular uh, page section for example opportunity stage name uh, opportunity stage name and that is and we can add style specific to that particular field for example i've added the font weight color and font size uh, and again, we can also do it for all the elements in that particular form. For example, I, I, I'm coloring all the elements in the form labels, all the labels in that particular form with red color. Uh, and again, the things that we can do with overriding is unlimited. It's, it's all about based on the business needs. All we need to understand is what is particular style, what is the particular dev that you want to override. And that can be easily done. All we have to do is uh, just understand that particular HTML tag and how we can just override it. Just we need to understand what particular div should be overwritten and how we can add that particular style to that SLDS. Uh, this particular component that we have added here, uh, yeah. So this is the style over it component. This is something that we can add in ScreenFlow as well. And we can also add it to a lightning record page. And this particular style will be overwritten for that lightning record page, the standard lightning record page as well. Uh, yeah, and this style, uh, style override component can be found in salesforcetimes.com, uh, this will be a website. So this is a great com uh, community that, that has, we have multiple sample codes where we can use and uh, solve problems that needs to be solved for a particular business and understand like how all we can customize our Salesforce screen flow and sometimes we just don't need to move to LWC and Salesforce screen uh, Salesforce screen flow solves our business needs. Thank you.